hello guys you are welcome back to ebenti entertainment this is your boy ebenti you know how we do and today we are here with another video today i'm coming to give you guys update on the um the flyover project going on at the flower pot area which is this legon side and then the spinters road side i'm going to give you guys update on it so if you are new here just do your boy ebenti a favor subscribe to my channel and like the video as well thank you for watching hello and welcome to my video today in this episode we will be discussing an exciting infrastructure project happening in ghana the tema n1 motorway flyover project this project is part of the ghanaian government effort to alleviate traffic congestion in the area and improve road connectivity we will be taking a closer look at the history of the tema motorway and the details of the flyover project and its impact on the local community. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the fascinating project. Another interesting aspect of the Tema N1 motorway flyover project is its proximity to the airport. As you drive along the motorway towards the flyover, you can even see planes passing overhead at a lower attitude providing a unique perspective of the airport and its operations. The location adds to the overall charm of the project and highlights the growing importance of infrastructure development in the region. The Tema N1 motorway in Ghana is a vital route link that connects the city of Tema to Accra. It was built in 1965 under the administration of Kwame Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana. However, with the increase in population and traffic in the area, the road has become congested, causing long delays and frustration for motorists. In response to this problem, the government of Ghana launched a flyover project on November 7, 2016 to alleviate traffic congestion on the Tema N1 motorway. The project includes the construction of a flyover from Flower Port Junction or the runabout on the Spinters Road over the motorway connecting to East Legon Boundary Road. The flyover project started on March 1st, 2017 and is still ongoing. The progress of the flyover project is impressive. They have completed all the pillars and are currently working on the concrete beams on the top of the flyover where cars will pass. They have also completed some part of the side of the Spinters Road and work has begun on the East Legon Boundary Road side. The pillars are really large and the construction work is of high quality. On the East Legon side, there will be a new road passing under the flyover, which will be constructed. And the flyover project coming from the Spinter side will also join the existing road at East Legon Boundary Road. When completed, this will improve the traffic flow in the area and make it easier for motorists to get to their destination. When you go to the Spinters Road side where the flyover project is coming from, there was a runabout there before, which connected the road going to Accra Mall, Spinters Road, East Airport Road, and the road that joins the motorway and connects from the motorway on the ground level. The flyover project is a two lane project over the motorway and it's better to reduce the traffic on other roads and help citizens cross over the motorway without having to pass through the Tetekwashi interchange, which is currently experiencing heavy traffic. One of the main objectives of this flyover project is to reduce the number of cars that rely on the Tetequashi interchange to get to East Legon and its neighboring areas since the current underbridge there is too small and can only accommodate one lane of traffic. With the construction of the flyover, it is expected that there will be a significant reduction in traffic on, the, on this route. 
which will help to ease congestion in the area. The construction of the flyover project has also brought economic benefit to the area. It has provided some employment opportunities for the local people and the construction materials and equipment used in the project have been sourced locally, which has boosted the local economy. Moreover, the flyover project has also brought about social benefits. It has improved the safety of the road for motorists and pedestrians. With the completion of the project, it will be easier and safer for pedestrians and motorists to cross the motorway, which will promote active transportation and improve the health and well-being of the citizens. In conclusion, the flyover project on the Tema N1 motorway in Ghana is a critical infrastructure development that will help to alleviate traffic congestion, improve safety on the road, and promote economic growth in the area. With the completion of the project, it is expected that there will be a significant improvement in traffic flow, reduced travel time, and increased safety for the road users. The project is an excellent example of how governments can work to improve the lives of their citizens by investing in critical infrastructure projects that benefit everyone. Let's talk about some ways that this project is going to save the citizens of this country a little bit money and also improve their life. The, the Tema N1 motorway flyover project is expected to have a, signif a significant impact on the lives of citizens in Ghana by reducing traffic congestion on the motorway and providing a more efficient route for motorists. The project is expected to save citizens both time and money. Currently, traffic congestion on the motorway leads to long delays and increased fuel consumption, resulting in a higher transportation cost for commuters and business alike. With the completion of the flyover project, these costs are expected to decrease, allowing citizens to save money on transportation expenses and increasing the overall economic viability of the region. In addition, the flyover project is expected to improve the safety of motorists and pedestrians in the area. By reducing the number of vehicles on the road, there will be fewer accidents and the risk of injury or death will be reduced will be reduced. This will provide a safer environment for both drivers and pedestrians, improving the quality of life for citizens in the area. Overall, the Tema N1 motorway flyover project is a significant investment in infrastructure development that will provide long-term benefits for citizens in Ghana by reducing traffic congestion, improving safety, and saving citizens money. The project will contribute to the overall growth and development of the region, providing a better future for all. Thank you for watching. You need to watch the video to the end to see all the progress and also the, the things that they are working on as of now. You need to watch it to the end to see everything that you need to know about the project. So this is the underbridge under the motorway that joins the Spintes Road. So the road leading straight is the road going to Shashida Way, joining the Medina Highway, 